Praise the Lord. Welcome to a brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace upon us this far. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Today we read verse number 16 and 17. The Bible says, Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Praise the Lord. Our third lesson from this portion of scripture is that the Lord is reminding us that whatever we may be facing, to him, as Paul puts it, is light and momentary trouble. But it may be accelerated to a point where you feel as though it is not light. It is not just for a time. It is heavy and forever. Paul is helping us to see that the moment you allow your heart, your mind, your attitude to look at things with the lenses that God uses. And no wonder we say that the inward focus helps us to see things the way God would want us to see them. Because with the spiritual eye, even what looks as if it is too heavy, it is there forever. You and I are able to rise above it. And so Paul helps us to see that whatever situation you may be going through, that which may be pressing you to a point of wanting to lose heart, remember, He's telling them we do not lose heart. For you to be able to press on, to stand firm, you and I must allow our hearts to accept that whatever I'm facing, whatever I'm going through, it is achieving for me an eternal glory that outweighs all the troubles. That eternal glory that is being achieved for me supersedes everything else that I may be going through. But the plan of our adversary is that you look at the situation, the issue that you are facing as though it is there forever and to last forever. But the Lord is calling upon us once again with the verse number 16 to focus inwardly, the day-by-day -day experience will help us to name what you're going through as light and momentary trouble. And maybe as we call it light and momentary trouble, we may be saying so, but whatever you are shouldering today sounds as though it is the opposite of light. It is so heavy. It is not momentary. It is. It sounds like wow, it has been here forever. And this is how we end up giving up. But the Lord is reminding us to see beyond. That nothing comes to you and me just for the sake. What you may be facing today is achieving for you. Is achieving for us an eternal glory that surpasses, that outweighs all what you are facing. The focus, the call is to embrace this kind of an attitude that the trouble that I may be going through is not here to finish me. It is achieving for me an eternal glory that outweighs all what I'm facing. With this kind of an attitude, focusing on the glory, focusing on what lies ahead, the enemy will not overtake you. And once again, in our verse number 16, therefore we do not lose heart. Because looking ahead on that eternal glory that outweighs all these troubles, we cannot dare give up. We are encouraged. We are strong. And we can confidently say, 
our light and momentary troubles. They have not come to finish us. They are there to achieve for us that eternal glory. The Lord bless you. God keep you. May you remain strong in the Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.